Hey friends and welcome back to another hair tutorial here on our channel putting up the pompons I am Shantae the mother of the three gorgeous pompon sisters and underneath this mop of head is my oldest daughter Kalia and we are transforming her into these uh, beautiful thread braids this is my first time trying these out so I'm gonna give y'all some tips some quick go-to ways to install these easily and we're gonna go ahead and get started talk about the benefits of this great protective style So your girl is still recovering from her sinus infection, so I still sound very nasally. It's annoying. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. If you are new to our channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button located right below this video. Come join the family. We would love to have you. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend. Hope you are being safe and blessed as always. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this. So we got Kalia here. Her hair has been freshly washed. She wore those, I think the triangle twist was the last style that we showed on here she wore that thing for about three weeks y'all and was highly upset when i told her it was time to wash her hair like homegirl just does not like getting her hair which it should be washed on the weekly but i usually stretch out her styles just because she is the most annoying when it comes to doing her hair but anyway so i'm first going to start off by dividing her hair i have not detangled yet all i did was wash do a deep condition and i was going to detangle up here because i knew i was going to be breaking down her hair into smaller sections and smaller sections are definitely the key when it comes to detangling her hair so I'm using the curl mix. This is the step three, the moisturizer. I have the full set, one through four. Um, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going in with the, the step three and the step four. So I'm going in first with that moisturizer. And then as we work her hair down into smaller sections, we'll add in that fourth step, which is the flaxseed gel. So going into parting her hair into these smaller sections was definitely a task because homegirl's hair is tangled, okay? Three weeks of not being washed and having that style in is it's, it's just not always good for her and so that's why I try to get her in a routine of getting her hair detangled and washed every week but I just I hate fighting with her I really do All right, now that I have her hair broken down into pretty much quarters, I got it down into four sections. I'm going in with my water because now we're gonna work on this section with detangling. I'm even gonna break down this section into more sections. Just that, that's just how grueling it comes to detangling Kalia's hair. The smaller, the better. So this is the smaller section and then I decided I'm gonna go ahead and just keep this as my section for creating her thread braids. This is my first time doing it so I wasn't really sure if I should do them really big, really small. So I felt like this kind of like met in the middle so I'm now going to go in with the flaxseed gel and I've had this product the curl mix like two or three years now and I forget how great it works on Kalia's hair definitely need to re-up on it again all right so now let's go ahead and get into the threading so I had Kalia holding the spool and I did not cut the thread because I really wasn't sure how much thread I needed um, so with this one being my first one it was pretty much like a trial and error it definitely was the guinea pig um, I wasn't sure how to keep it tight around her roots because uh, the thread just kept unraveling and that was another dilemma I was having and then once I got to the shaft of her hair I was just two strand twisting it at this point um which didn't really give me the coil kind of look that I wanted and then I just slip knotted the ends which is where you just bring it around your fingers and pull it through and pull it tight I did that about two or three times just to secure it and I had no issues with the slip knot I had to go off camera and kind of figure it out and you know bring it back together so this is what she looks like with half her hair done and as you can see it looks really good so I'm like okay okay so I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how I achieved it so going in with my section again making sure I've added my moisturizer and my flaxseed gel and the gel is what it's going to use to bring out that definition in her curls oh love that damn gel I'm trying to tell y'all definitely got to go back and go get me some more so I'm going in with my shine effects gel now because I realized that I wanted my roots to look a lot more clean than how I did it in the beginning y'all know I love my gel okay and then I figured out that to get it nice and tight where it wasn't going to unravel I was going to have to apply a rubber band so I'm going in with a black rubber band to secure her roots and then we're going to go in with threading this just helped me with making sure the 
like it was going it wasn't going to unravel her hair wasn't going to unravel as it dries from the thread just being the only thing holding her hair together it just wasn't going to work for me so now I'm taking the thread and I take about two or three inches into my hand and I hold that to her hair and then we're going to thread around the rubber band maybe three or four times de depending on you know how big that section is this is a small section so i only did it maybe two or three times and then i'm just going to work my way down the shaft of her hair so instead of like two strand twisting it like i was doing in the beginning i'm actually wrapping it around the shaft of her hair so now we're starting to get that more of a coiled look now that I've made it to the end, I'm going to slip knot it two or three times. And this time I do not have the thread still attached to the spoolie. I had Kalia cut it uh, to the length that I needed and she did like excessive, like really long. So we wasted a lot of thread um, just trying to make sure we had enough thread for her hair, which was fine. I would rather have too much than too little because too little, we would have to start all over again. So I'm showing you again how I am wrapping the hair around. And as you can see, we, we now have like this system going on. It's just going by so much smoothly. It was definitely easy. It just took a little practice for me to kind of like understand what my hands needed to do. Like my mind knew what I needed to do, but my hands was just like, wait, wait a minute. We don't, why, why are we doing this? But it looks really cute. And as her hair dries, it shrinks back up into those coils. And it looks kind of like a twist out, like super cute. I do want to touch on some of the great benefits of doing thread braids. I went and looked them up, you know, because I feel like with the new hairstyle, there's always a meaning behind it. So I learned that these are a very great way to stretch the hair without heat, especially for my girls who don't like to apply heat to their hair. And I will say that it also looks super cute just styled this way. So this makes a great uh, low manipulation protective hairstyle. And then you can take the threads out and wear it as a twist out. Perfect, right? So I'm finishing up on the last two braids and now I'm going to go in with my scissors and cut any strings or threads that are kind of hanging out um, just to clean it up. And then we're going to go in with some BTL hair oil. I just recently received this oil from BTL. Oh my God, this stuff smells good. And y'all know I love a hair product that smells like tropical mangoes, like I'm on somebody's island. And that's exactly what this stuff smells like. So I apply that through her scalp. Then I'm going to go ahead and style her edges. Y'all know I am not not good at styling edges so do not judge me okay i'm learning i'm trying to get the you know the cute little swoop whoops and all that good stuff but sometimes i just feel like this this is just it's overrated <laughs> it is completely overrated doing your edges like i i can do without them but for the sake of this video and pictures i went ahead and did it i played around with them and they lasted all but 10 seconds because kalia messed them up as soon as i was done recording and that completes the tutorial on Kalia's thread braids. Our first time doing these, a great low manipulation hairstyle for all of my curly girls out there. And thank you guys for joining us on another one. Don't forget, we are on the way for to 10,000 subscribers here on our channel. And a great way for you to help us reach that goal this year is to like this video and share it to all of your social media platforms. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram at pompons underscore sisters, where you can see more daily hair inspiration and hairstyles thank you and be blessed